is a podcast all about me. Yeah. Your, Your best, best, best friend, Max. Don't Gilardi. talk over the song. There's some, some other guy, guy too, but you don't need to worry about him. He's okay, fine. and I pause the song because I don't want to listen to it again. Take that, Max. I have all editing powers and I'm stronger than you. Okay? Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Why? Are you not okay with that? Of me being strong? You than you are the one you? being. You are the one who's in a bad mood today, and I was I was in a good mood, and I was going to come on here, and we were going to do a good show, we were going to do a good mood cast, but I guess that's not going to happen, because you're a, you're just being a big old uh, Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, I guess it's a bit difficult when I when I do everything, and you just uh, lay there, you play Mario Galaxy, and you and you, and you play with your with your little dick. Okay, well that's inappropriate. I think you should try and come and help me a bit more often. Help me. What do you want my help with? I don't know, maybe you can try and stream something? Maybe you can try and, uh... That's what you sound like. Like an idiot. See, well, that's stuff like that no, don't even help, so... So, I don't know, I don't know. You, you ask you ask what you can do to help me, and then you do impressions of me, and they hurt me, and... Yeah, so... Okay. Hey, guys, welcome to the show. Officially uh, titled Weisenheimers. Um, Weisenheimer number one. That's Max. He's Weisenheimer number two. Say hello, Max. Mm. What's wrong, Max? Are you being a uh, baby? You know what? You are the one who started this whole big angry thing, and I just don't even. Well, you're, you're I'm ruined. sorry. No, I, I didn't know that you, you stream on work. I didn't know that I had to do special things to you stream to work. I did, 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 did. You blew it. I you blew it. Capish? Yeah. So it's a team and area graphics. Good, good job. Good job. No, it's really good. Well, I'm at least trying to. I'm at least this funny still, but I guess I can't because you're just. Okay, you're so set in your ways. Max, have you ever heard of a uh, breathing meditation? Yeah, you're the one who needs to do it, you, you dummy dunce. Because do I was in a good mood today. Do you, do you want to do it with me? No. Well, I need to do it because I need to calm down in some way. Well, you can do it after the show is over, but now is the time to be professional, and now is the time to put on a show for the people. And I don't think you can that. <laughs> <sighs> You're talking about iCarly in the chat. Okay, well, you're not supposed to read the chat because that's not a part of the show. Glad you guys are enjoying the show. Okay, guys, I'm happy. I'm in a great mood. We've got a great show for you today. Me and uh, Max are going to have tickle fights. Pillow fights. No. no. Yeah, we are. I'm going to tickle him till he falls on the floor. He'll grab his little finger and he'll giggle and you'll enjoy it. I don't know about that. Mm-hmm. So, Max, I have I, I heard that your shirts aren't selling as well as you thought they would be. Let's talk about that. My what? Your shirts. My shirts? Mm-hmm. What about them? Heard they're not selling as well as they could be. That's because nobody knows that I have them, really. Oh, so it's your fault. Yeah, it's your fault. Can and you... they should go. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. We kind of. Will you stop interrupting me? Sorry. Go on. Yeah, because you're interrupting me, and that's making me lag. When we both talk at the same time. I'm sorry. I said I'm you're sorry. I'm sorry. Go on. <clears throat> I don't. I don't. So I don't even want to talk anymore. Well, no. I just you. You had a poll saying like, "So you guys said you'll buy my shirts, but then you didn't." And I thought it would. I thought you could talk about it and share some of your. Oh, that's just because um, I made a poll asking if people would buy my show on DVD, and everybody said they would. And I was like, "These guys are liars. I know that they wouldn't." Yep, because that's the internet. Just a b- b- billion liars. That's the internet. You have a stutter. No, I have a cute stutter. A stutter. Well. It's a cute stutter. Is still a stutter. I don't know, cause yeah, maybe, maybe. Have you ever has it ever been acknowledged by a a pediatrician during your youth? No, but it was by it was like by a physician. Oh, 
That's a pediatrician is a physician for children. Oh. Oh. Well, no, he didn't. Yeah. Know. He, he just like made fun of me. He didn't really try and help me. He was like, "Stutter, stutter. You're a dumb stutter slut." That's inappropriate for a uh, professional to do. Well, you know, school is schools are difficult in uh, Israel. You you think it's like over there in America where you all you get is like lockers and and here you gotta work. You gotta well, work. Well, we only have one prom. No, I think you have like uh, eight of them in in a week. So actually, I think there's a junior prom and a senior prom, so we have two. Hey, what about homecoming? That's prom. <laughs> That's not a prom, that's a homecoming. I'm pretty sure that is a prom. You wear a dress, it's a prom. Well, you know what? I don't know anything about any of these because I didn't go to any of them. Oh my god, why? Because I was a rebel in high school. By a rebel, you mean a baby? I... Mm, mm. I guess you don't want to talk about it there. I know you had a very harsh childhood with all the... All the rapings and such, but you know. You know what? Uh, I it's every time like when I try to be serious, you have to like. You have to like turn it into like a funny thing, and I don't understand why that's necessary. Maybe I maybe my serious story would have been interesting. Okay. But I guess I'm now sorry. we'll just never know. I'm sorry. Can you can you please tell me about your serious story, and I'll try not to interrupt you and take it completely seriously as much as I can. No, because the moment is over and you blew it. I think. Capiche? I think the moment is still here. I think you don't know much about moments because you haven't studied in enough physics. So, go. No. Nope. You notice you do that a lot. You just go like, well, we could have done that, but we can't. I think you're just trying to ruin the show. I think you're trying to sabotage the show. I think you're not a true Weisenheimer at heart, so... I think maybe uh, if, you were, if you were a true Weisenheimer, then you'd let the true that uh, sabotaging the show would be the true Weisenheimer thing to do, but I guess you're just not really committed to the integrity of the show that we have set up, so. Maybe I'm trying to be a nice Weisenheimer, but you're a m m m m mean Weisenheimer. That's a bit of an oxymoron, don't you think? No. Okay. A nice Weisenheimer? Yeah. Doesn't make any sense to me. <sighs> how you want to talk about Dragon Ball Z? Alright. I watched Dragon Ball Z the other day. How was it? Uh, that show is a lot better than I remember it being, and that's saying something because I really liked it when I was little. But there was this scene where the, uh, Krillin got kicked right in the face, and I was like, wow, he got kicked right in the face. I couldn't even believe it. Must have hurt. Did he have, like, a wound? Was he bleeding? Did he die? Did he have to no, but he he walk on that long he's... snake in heaven for about no. six episodes? No. No, but he flew like a million miles, and I was like, wow, that must have really hurt when he got kicked in the face. That Krimin is, is a nice little midget. Yeah. Yeah, he's really strong. I didn't think... Before that show, I had like this thought in my head, like, midgets can't be strong because they're midgets. But, but, but that show really broke that uh, stereotype of midgets being really weak. It's funny because when him and Goku met, they were the same height. <laughs> can you believe it? Yeah, I can, because he's a midget. <clears throat> I think that show is pretty bad. Cause really? Yeah, they do a lot of grunting. A lot of grunting. A lot of unnecessary Well, it's grunting. not for everybody. <laughs> it's for people who really enjoy grunting. That's true. It's for, you know, they grunt because they're powering up. Yeah, but what, what, you have what, to... what's up with that thing where they, like, power up for three episodes and meanwhile the other guy doesn't even interrupt him? He could just, like, kick him in the shin and he's big earth ball aura will be destroyed but no i'll just sit here I'll be a dumb because he wants him to because he wants him to get his full power potential so that he can fight him at his full power so that he can test his limits some you? idiot on skype keeps messaging me yeah just block max him. you'll never how do i block someone yeah, you go on Skype, you click on someone's name, you do right click, and you go block this person. How about the fourth option down? File. <laughs> Access. <laughs> and you go to Wait, what do I, what do, I do? <laughs> you go to control panel, uninstall, you look for the guy's name under programs. I don't have any of that. <laughs> You'll never block me, he says. I'm too much for you. Okay, oh. this guy's an asshole. How do I... I can't... <laughs> God damn it. Are you on a Mac? 
No. No. Okay. Open, He's just. Open your Skype step by step with me. Uh, wait, I just axed out my Skype window. Wow, Max, really? I Mac. This is not on Mac. This is on my Mac, but this is on my PC. Okay, Max, Shut listen up, to me. You idiot. Max, Max listen yeah. to me. Listen to me. Go to yeah. your contacts list. Can you see him there? No, he's not a contact. Oh. Well, he's just... a virus. I'm sorry. I'll just have to ignore it. Bye. No, 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 no. He's. Hello from Ed. Decline. Then don't sorry, do decline. Ed. Do ignore. Do block. I already did. This guy, some he's. It's Max. It's Gelardi hater, and he keeps. I'm in a chat with him for some reason. How do I get out of this chat? <laughs> Is in a chat on Skype or either like the Matrix or something? I don't know. Listen, you, you if you're listening to this right now, Gelardi Hater, you better <laughs> tell me how to block you. <laughs> and you better stop stop sending me messages. Because um, I don't want to have to be distracted by you while I'm doing this show. So you're stop. You're going to ruin the show and no one will enjoy it anymore. So Now, now Ed is sending me messages too. Hey, dude, it's me, Ed. I don't know anyone named Ed. I don't know. I don't have a friend. Well, I had knew a guy in high school named Ed. We haven't talked in years. Maybe he wants to reconnect with you because he forgot that how how much he 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 likes you. Ed, world. It's Ed's world. Yeah. <sighs> well, stop talking to me. I'm doing a show. Oh, how do man. I block these people? Wow, you're really bad like, with anyone computers. Can just, why 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 don't anyone you know can just start thing? a chat with you? That's stupid. Go invisible I mean, or something. No, because they can still talk. Yeah, but you can start thinking and do something okay, you know good. What? In the chat of the live stream, someone is being an idiot and talking to me. At right, cl wait. Okay, my friend Chris is here with breaking information. Oh, right, boy. click the convo with them and be leave chat option. Is it working? Start call, send oh, contacts, and file. <laughs> Fuck this use as we go. Okay, guys, this is the Fuck. Weisenheimer show. We're being attacked by chatters. Somehow. You are blocked. It says, Can I suck your cock, then animate it. Shut up. Oh my god. Why are people bugging me while I'm trying to do a show? I wouldn't this think... is unbelievable. Wait, Ed's, Ed Gold would, have, would do that? I, I wouldn't think Ed Gold would be like such I don't. A... Actually, I don't think this is really him because yeah, Ed is that... not very. That is something that Ed would not say. Yeah, I just. Yeah. Well, okay, can we go back, or do you need to a sip of water? Hang on, I gotta thank my friend Chris. Chris, you're awesome. Okay. Thanks. Okay, 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 okay. I don't care about anyone. Can anyone p p please stop? Please stop. Let's take a break. That, that asshole <laughs> whole show. That was the intermission, and now we're done, okay? Can we go back to the show? Can we please? The show is ruined now. No, Got it's not. Stop story. ruining it. Got off. Stop it, Max. Max. What off? Max. The lousy idiot comes in. He comes in here and commandeers the whole show. This, this is a joke. This is a joke. You're letting them win. Are you aware of that? You're letting the the, the podcast terrorists win. Well, what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to laugh it off. Have a nice game. If they don't want. You know what? If they don't want this show to happen, then why should we give it to them? Because frankly, Whoa. they don't deserve it. Or are you really ready for this conversation? You know what? They need to learn some fucking respect. Whoa. Whoa. Learn how to be mature. Whoa. Do you want to? Because we wanna... do this. Do this wanna... podcast yeah. is a privilege, not a right. Okay, people? Yeah, we can stop any day. We can. We can stop any day. Want us to stop? You want to fight me? Do you want to fight Max? He's strong! What? I, I said you're strong. I, I am we, strong. I thought we were backing each other up now. I'm, I am a strong guy. I am. Yeah, he's really strong. So if you want to fight neither of us, you need to buy us both tickets to where you live and we will, <clears throat> we will roughhouse you. As if you were uh, uh, my age that I don't have but I wish I did. Okay? Alright. You're gonna do content or what? Uh, yeah, 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 I will. Yeah, let's see. Well, what else do I have written down? Oh, why'd you go? Why, did I just go offline? What? What? <laughs> what?
Okay. Uh, I wasn't on the bus. <laughs> was All that right. a good segue? That's... So I was on the bus. Not, this is going to be a not funny story, but what, mm-hmm. whatever. I was on the bus with my with my bud, my friend Roy. He's a good friend. Well, you don't have any, but whatever. I do. Hey, when, when when was the last time you were on the bus with a friend, huh? Okay, you know what? Go continue. No, tell me. I want. Do you know? No. Well, continue. You know what? I uh-huh, won't interrupt okay. any. So, we were sitting like me and my friends. We don't take the bus. What do you want me to tell you? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you don't take the bus. We we get limoed everywhere we go, chauffeured, because we're all rich and famous. I hang out usually with Good Charlotte, the band. You know, I just tell your damn story so we can get past it. So uh, I was I was sitting on the bus towards the end, like one line before the end, and I was sitting with a friend, going, "Hey, friend, what's up? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you." And we talk. And there was a bunch of like uh, no good use p- babies on the back in the back seat, like t- t- twelve year olds, thirteen, four, thirteen year olds, and you were, you know, they were with their bitches, and they were like, right. la la la, nah, because t- that's how the kids were acting, and then all of a sudden, the one kid sprayed something in my hair. Was it hairspray? No, it was perfume. Well, that's not so bad. Yeah, I know. But I was like, the fuck's that? So I turned Did on. Did you yell at him? I turned on and went like, what the fuck are you doing? And he giggled. And I felt really emasculated. I had no idea what to do. I was. I started crying. Okay. And I started tearing up. Because I felt like. Well, this, you know what? I, th- I feel like the story would be better if you just really happened. Um, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to tell you, but you don't believe me. I turned around. I, don't. Like, I went like, "What the fuck? Are you fucking twelve years old? What's wrong with you? You, you baby, you slut baby, you horny or something? You want to hit on me? You want to fuck? I'm not into that. So it's a public place. It's a bus. Right. A lot of people on here. So and I told him that, and then was like, and just giggled. Everyone just giggled. What's up with that, man? They just keep giggling as if I'm not. <sighs> so yeah, well, I felt really emasculated, and I just felt bad. Now tell me mm. something bad that happened to you in a bus. Uh, nothing. Nothing. I haven't taken a bus since I was in school. Since I was little. Well, school school was an awful time. So, tell tell us what. I remember happened. I always used to like riding the bus. Yeah. Did you do anything yeah. on the bus? Anything like bad? Fight someone? Yeah. We'd sing "Hail to the Bus Driver." Hail like, like the weather. No, no, never mind. Okay. Okay. Well, good. So that was my story. I thought that would take at least t- two hours. Mm. Okay, I have only one more. I went to to a restaurant with my friend today. Mm. So it was a pretty fancy restaurant, and I thought it's kind of awkward going to a restaurant with a friend because, I don't know, I feel like you're looked at strange. Is it a male friend? Oh yeah, it is a really male friend. It was Roy. Why again. would you, Roy? Yeah. So why would you, you know, why did you feel that you wanted to go to a restaurant with your friend? Because I I was hungry and I wanted to eat something nice. Because I wanted to do. We like treating ourselves to something nice. Because. Was it like really fancy? It wasn't really fancy, but it was fairly fancy. It felt fancy. Eh, I really don't have any way to gauge how fancy it really was. Well, it didn't have like candles or anything. It was a it was fancy enough for you to feel weird being there with a male friend, is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, a tiny bit, a tiny bit. Yeah. I feel like there's I feel like there's no restaurant that fancy. Why wouldn't you guys just go somewhere a little? Like like some place that has good food but is a little more low key. Because we want. Why, to... why not just go to like a? Because it was Saturday. Everything's closed. We want a good. Everything's closed on Saturday. Yeah. Have you heard of the? Do you a... live on the moon? Do you live in crazy bizarro world? Hey. Is... Do you live in uh... Wonderland with Alice? Hey, are things closed on what? Sunday over there? You said Saturday. Are, are they closed on Sunday? Uh, not restaurants, no. No, nothing? No? 
there are places that are closed on Sunday, like the bank, but not not restaurants. Restaurants are open seven days a week. Well, Sunday is your day for the God. Saturday is our day for the God, okay? We don't have Sunday off, okay? But you know what? No matter what day of the week it is, you have to eat, and that's why uh, restaurants always stay open. Yeah, well, that was the only one open at the time because probably the others are very religious restaurants and they like uh, to rest on the sad Saturday, the, the day of the Lord. All right, fine. <laughs> I, okay. I don't want to argue about this anymore, okay? No, so we'll, just so you uh, know, that sometimes okay. th there are different cultures. You need to be more open. You can't be so ethnocentric. Well, you know what? My culture is the best one. So. I don't think so. I don't that's think so. I, no, no, that's all I need to no, know. No, 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 it's not. It's as simple as it is. Uh, no. Over here, we we study on Sunday. You know that? We go to work on Sunday. Do you know that? That's, that's, I guess that's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know. Next, but, next, next topic. Nope, and we don't go on Friday or Saturday, so, so yeah. You want to talk about that? Let's next topic. That. Nope. Move no. On. Moving on. And so we were. Yeah, we, we talked about something I want to talk about. Nope. We ordered food, and the and the waitress was like, uh, kind of, she was kind of clumsy. And she brought me my fish and chips because I love fish and chips. Love it. Spanish restaurant ordered fish and chips. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to buy something for like twenty bucks. But if you're gonna get fish and chips, why not just go to a restaurant that's not fancy? Because I didn't want to walk that far. You know how fucking hot it is? It's like 90 degrees outside. And it's humid. It's Why were you humid. walking? Because I don't have a car. Why not take the bus? Because it was Saturday. There's no buses on Saturday. Ugh. See? You this conversation is exhausting me. So look. I ordered my fish and chips. And I was like, oh my god, thanks. So the, the, the fries <laughs> came in like a... Rectang not rectangle, a triangle cardboard thing, which may not sound fancy, but it was pretty fancy. And and mm. I, I took it out, and then the waitress was like, "And then you put this on your head." And I had to fake laugh. Mm. So just imagine that, like you're you're enjoying email. No, you're enjoying your meal, and then a lady goes like, "Put this on your head." <laughs> And you're like, well, I'm not a, I'm not a six-year-old, but yeah. So, did you have anything to add to that? Emails. <laughs> okay. So I'll go read the emails here. <sighs> you're, that was mean. Well, why, uh, why don't you uh, help me to, to try and make this better? Why aren't you? I feel like I'm very know, passive. I'm not really. You know what? If I can be serious here for a moment, and this isn't me being a Weisenheimer, this is me being a Maxenheimer. Uh, I'm not really feeling this episode so far. Maybe we need to we need to save it somehow. Yeah. Hey, Max. First of all, y you guys should know that I I don't allow Max to read the emails before the show, but he did, and he deleted the email that he sent to himself. So I'm gonna read that anyway. What? You sent, what email did I send to myself? You sent an email to the Max Has Bad Ideas email, and I sent it here, and now it's not here anymore, so... I didn't send any email. Oh, yeah, you did. No. Yep, you were drunk. No. Yep. Question from Soraya Frenderner Congliglavius. Why did you decide to do a podcast together, huh? Uh, I said, hey, yo, Tom, you should do a podcast since you like podcasts so much, and then he made me do it with him. Mm-hmm. I tied him down, gave him a microphone, and we, you know, the rest is just history, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> uh, this is from, I just got home from a crabby club half-pissed, and there is nothing better than listening to your voice this is in a poor attempt to sober up before work. Oh, it's Dummy Fresh, by the way, from Newgrounds, actually, you probably don't know me, never mind. Hope... Anyway, I have a question. What three characters from movies would you take uh, uh, take with you on a zombie attack? What What's up with internet and zombie attacks? Why, why is it such a popular subject? What's the name of this guy? Oh, God. Uh, it is what's... Dummy Fresh. Listen, Dummy Fresh. I'm sure you're a nice guy. 
but I simply don't have the energy to answer this email. Next email. I would take James Bond, uh, George Michaels, and, and Jennifer Love Hewitt. Why would you take George Michaels? Furthermore, he's not from a movie, and furthermore, Jennifer Love Hewitt is a real person. That's an actress. This is a baby from Marcus Downs, da- 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 Dawson. What would you say if I told you right now I'm eating a baby? Because I am. Ha ha ha, laws, laws, laws. Next email. Disregarding You know what? That guy is a funny guy. You can tell just from his email. He is just the life of the party. Yeah, he's so like he's random. He's pretty random. Cause why? Why would you eat a he's baby? He's wacky. Don't, you, you don't eat random. He, he likes non sequitur humor because that is just clearly the most superior kind of humor. Mm-hmm. 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 Check out my website, homestarrunner.com. There's gonna be some funny wacky stuff on there. Mm-hmm. Did you? Did you? Uh, I, I played the game, home, the, the strong bed game. It was so good. Did you actually? Did you know that that website's not going anymore? Really. Yeah, it's over, man. It's over. Rip Homestar Runner. Oh. They haven't they haven't put on a new cartoon in almost a year. Cause they're too busy making games for Tattletale Games. Well, they already made that game. They put out the whole. First of all, it's Telltale Games. Well, I and guess second of all, just rich. The whole season came. The whole season. The whole season already came out, and it's done. So they have no excuse. What have they been doing for the past year? That's what I want to know. Uh, spending their money, their fame, their fortune. This is from Factors. Actually, this is from Melonhead. <laughs> Max felt Captain sick. Captain Melonhead. Yeah, Max felt sick, but he couldn't say why. Then he hissed, staring at my twinkling eyes. Some things you do for money, and some things you do for fun. But the things you do for love are gonna come back, wa- back, back to you one by one. I stared at him deeply. I s- stared as if he. He were wrong. As the nearby river silently played out nature's calming song. Who's that from? The Fabs? Nope, from Melonhead 13B. Captain Melonhead, Ed and Nettie. Good job, I love that poem. I wish you would have written me a poem as well, but it's okay. Podcast name, it's okay, we already have a Wait, podcast. Wait, you wrote that? Who? I don't know. The... the- Maybe. Uh, if you wrote that, that might be a good poem. They but might. if you that's didn't, really then that's beautiful. plagiarism. You're going to have to be sent to the principal's office because plagiarism is against the policy. Let's play that out. Let's say you're a melonhead and I'm a, I'm a principal. Hey, so I heard you plagiarized. Nerd. You know what? Why don't you just sit on it, old man? <laughs> I will, but, but it's a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Next email. What inspires you? Hey, Tom and Max. Huge fan of you guys. Mwah. This is from Bridget Sergeragrog. I want Bridget? To... A girl? Yep. Seems like it. Unless... A girl named Bridget? Unless... What is she, British? Unless it's like a kid using his mom's email. Hey, Tom Reading and Max. Across... Uh, can you shut up? Can you let me read an email? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom and Max, huge fan of you guys. I wanted to ask you guys what inspired you to become flesh animators. What made you guys start? What made you guys wish you that ballad I dreamed of? Doing? Go. Uh, I started because. Already I, talked about this. Yeah, flash. Good times. It's a good flash. It's a good flashing time. This is from Weeman 9999 Max, why do you think Powerpuff Girls is such a good show? The animation isn't. Uh, the animation really wasn't that good. The stories, characters, and all that stuff were, were okay at the best. Nope, no more emails from this guy. Okay, he's a really he's really avid fan of Powerpuff Girls. Please don't talk to him about that. He gets really mad. Oh, and sorry, for time, no more emails from this guy. Why don't you stick to one username? I know you have at least three. Well, fuck you, because some of them are taking. Okay, shut up. And last <laughs> question. This is for the both of you. What kind of tablets do you guys use? Hmm? Next email. This God, they from, suck this week. This is from Michael Valadimloin Luis. Hey, you guys, it's Michael. I just have a couple of questions with the both of you. If you had three wishes, what would you wish for? Shut up. And <laughs> <laughs> do any of you have favorite horror films? Let me think. Favorite horror films. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I actually really do like the Blair Witch Project, but that movie's not really scary. Yeah, I don't care. Okay? I don't care. It's not. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Or people judge how good a horror film is on the basis of how scary it is, and that movie's not really scary at all. But I think it's just a good movie movie. So, Blair <laughs> no, it's Project, just a good movie it movie. Yeah. Just a good movie movie. Yeah. This is from Sam Pahalavan. Watch hey, the- someone in the chat, I hate to kind of derail the show here, but someone in the chat just said they should talk about the Facebook movie. Today I saw the trailer for the Facebook movie. That looks fucking awesome. That's the best movie trailer I've seen in a long time. Okay, you can continue. Oh, I haven't seen it, but I guess we can talk about it at the after show or something when, when I can actually interject. <laughs> eh, you might not like it. <sighs> What program do you use to make cartoons? Lol, JK. What is your lifetime goal? To be a goalie. What's yours? To to be the world's fattest man. I don't know. Next email. We're done. That's all we had. Now I'm going to read the email. Suck. Shitty emails. Yeah, it was fucking shitty, guys. Yeah. Get mad at them. I'm all pissed off now. Max, get, get mad at them. I am, you know, I'm already mad at you. Max, tell them, tell, tell them who's You know boss. what? Send us email. We don't usually do this. Send us some emails right now, and we're gonna we're gonna read them before the show is over. Nope. Okay. Email is whatever. Just say the email. <clears throat> this is the email from you that you sent to yourself. I didn't send myself an email, you dick. Hi, this is Max from the future, and I have turned bisexual. In the future, me or your Tom are going to meet in real life, and I will then sexually harass him, and then and, and that will end our fl- no. friendship. P.S. I think the podcast name should be Podcast 04. You wrote this. No, this is from Max Giraldi at Yahoo.com. No, it's not me. It no. is, and I, everyone has your name, and they can... Pretend to be you, and you love me apparently, and that makes me kind of <laughs> flattered. This question for directed to Lazy Muffin: Do you have Flash games or animations coming up? That's cool. Yeah, I have a bunch of I have a game that I've been trying to sell for fucking two months now, but no one would buy it, and it makes me sad. The question directed to How did you demon? a new cartoon. I put just put out put out a new episode of Wacky Game Jokes like fucking three days ago. He never puts out shit. He's lazy. Lazy muffin. Well, sorry. I actually got deals going on in my life. I'm trying to make money. Yeah, what did you do today? Oh, you want to know what I did today? I went to a restaurant with my friend, and we had fun. That's not work. No, no. Why is he why is giving my personal email out? My, my God. I do work all... My I God. work on wacky game jokes all day long from Monday through Saturday. Oh, how much money did you make? Ooh, ooh. Uh, and that's just because it doesn't—it doesn't mean it's not work. Just because you don't make money, oh. you big dummy dunce. I think it is. I think it's a hobby right now, and no. I think you're doing bad. I think y- you lose no. more than you make. No, no, it's it's work, and that everyone says, "Well, Max, how are you putting out these cartoons so fast? It's the—it's not even halfway through the year, and there are already seven episodes released. I'll tell you how I do it all day long." Sounds like a, sounds like a life. Sounds like you're having a good life. Sounds like you're really accomplishing everything you want. Like you're seizing the day. Well, now all I need to do is get paid for it. So who's gonna pay me? Not me. Not me. Maybe. Well, maybe you should. Did you watch the episodes? No, I don't follow your animation. I don't like. I don't like the character. I, I think it's too rude. I think he's very crass. I'm not into the whole humor. It's too slow for me. I just don't get it. It's just like you need to add more jokes. It's like nothing happens. And his chin is weird. Next email. We're out. I'll just draw clowns. And sigh. So, how how would you rate this podcast from one to two six? Uh, six. I give it a six. Really? You're you're nice. Why not? You know, it's my own. Yeah. Well, that says a lot about you that you would give something you made a good. Why are you always on the attack, Yo Tom? Take it easy. Settle down. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. We just need more show content. I'm sorry. We just have nothing. Mm. We we just we, we we never plan. What will we talk about? 
Israel, I could Palestine, read that. Gaza. I, no, no. I could read that massive description of wacky game jokes that someone put on my wiki. Would That'll that be, be good content? Yeah, sure. Go read it. I'll, I'll take. I'll, I'll Hang on. For now. Ad lib something for now. While I get <clears throat> there. No, not burping. No. At least do a song. Jeez. Okay, I'm ready. Stop. <clears throat> okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Burp gassed. Okay. <laughs> Burping is all like so, yawning. It's not like as soon as I yawn, you have to yawn. Right. So here's the deal. Uh, some of my cartoons have a pretty uh, convoluted mythology, I guess you could say. No. And I guess that this is... Mm, well, shut up for now. I guess that this has spawned a uh, hot diggity demon Wikipedia. So it's, you know, it's kind of like the encyclopedia of all things. Yeah, yeah. Max is, is, is it just like, for you? It's all like just a section for you? Is the whole side is for you? Uh, yeah, actually the whole thing is for me. Yeah? Yep. No, I don't, I don't believe that for a moment. Carry on. You ready to you ready to st uh, stop being a wise ass and let me talk? You can go on. Uh, so someone who's been very busy and they wrote up a massive description of Wacky Game Jokes for Children, which is my show. And I'm going to read it. Wacky Game Jokes for Kids is an internet comedy series that was created by Max Gilardi. I don't know if I would, call it, I don't know if I would call it a comedy series. Ha 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 ha. It's a production of video game videos. The series is currently being broadcast on Newgrounds and YouTube. It premiered on the 16th of February in 2010. And as of 2010, six episodes have aired. This is not wait, up to date wait. because the seventh one out. Aired? I I wouldn't say it was aired. I don't know if it's it's if that's the right terminology. It should have, should be changed. Like, <laughs> submitted. <laughs> submitted. <laughs> set in New Set in New York City, New York. Wacky game jokes is the story of Mickey the Dick, Max Gilardi, a New York street thug who is kidnapped by the evil corporation VGV against his will, and he is forced to write, direct, and star in a video game comedy show broadcast on the internet. Do 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 with, with his more thing crew. Do 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 do. Did he just Along listen to his... the to the intro song and just typed it out? A lot of effort went into that. With his... <laughs> Along with his more willing film crew, Eric, Max Gilardi, and June, Max Gilardi, while under the supervision of the boss, Max Gilardi. <laughs> yeah, a lot of you. Someone is talking to me <clears throat> on fucking Skype again. <sighs> you need to learn how to ignore okay. these things. Okay, continuing. Mickey the Dick, played by Max Gilardi, is the writer. <laughs> okay, come on. Is he, how how many more times is he going to mention that you all do all the voices? How many times? A lot. I well, you know what? He's impressed because, hold on, this idiot is calling me. Someone wow. is calling me. Wow. Block, block, block. How do, block. I don't know how. Oh my God! You're such a. It's the same guy again. Oh, it's boy. it's it's the it's that nitwit. Block. You are blocked. Oh, nitwit. What a nitwit. Okay. <clears throat> Go on. Okay, director of VGV Wacky Game Jokes for Kids. He formerly, he formerly lived as, as a small-time crook on the streets of New York City until he was abducted by the evil corporation VG, VGV kidnapping. Mickey, Mickey has been kept in the building against his will to create wacky game jokes for reasons not explained. Just as his name suggests, Mickey is a dick. He is always criticizing everything and everyone around him and makes everyone know his discomfort Ironically, being hired to produce content for a video game company show, Mickey hates video games and knows very little about consoles in general. LOL, e. LOL, You know what? If you want to talk about something, that's fine, but I don't think, even think that you had anything. No, keep going. This is really interesting. I feel really enlightened, and I, 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 I need to more June and Eric and, and Boss and Michael. Go on. <laughs> and Boss? <laughs> There's no Michael. Uh, this differs from his co-worker's love for them. He has described his hate for video games as overly poetic, shallow, interchangeable garbage, head up the ass retarded, and video gay. Throughout the series, he has displayed more enthusiasm in videos, even if his attitude towards his situation remains the same. This may be because he is insulting others while doing so. <clears throat> he once felt compelled to prove fewer in wacky game jokes, that wacky game jokes was wacky and had video game jokes when the viewer said otherwise. However, he gave 
on the idea. It is mentioned off Max, camera. That Mick Max. makes numerous. I need to scratch my my face. One moment. Your face. Okay, keep going. When Mickey is asked why he is a dick, because he is a no good street punk rebel without a cause that calls no man Mister. How however, June and Eric believe his attitude to be a tough guy front, and the boss thinks. And the, meanwhile, the boss thinks the reason is because Mickey likes action. It, it initiates. Mickey doesn't take the latter summary kindly, but nothing is suggested it isn't true. Mm -hmm. Mickey seems to be a dick to the boss out of enjoyment, mm -hmm. while being a dick to June and Eric seems to stem from his annoyance and hatred towards them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eric true. has mm -hmm. said he doesn't like... Okay, this idiot is talking to me again. <laughs> do you, do you want, Why do you want to talk does he want to ruin this show? He has three alt accounts now that he's talking to me with? Are you serious? Mm. Mm. Decline? Mm. Mm. Yo, Tom. Mm. Yo, Tom. Yeah. Yo, Tom. Yeah. I'm at the end of my run here. I'm sorry. I think I think we should... I think we should... I don't know. I'm not... Who has been calling me? <laughs> Great. No. Why, want to why are you being harassed by people? Why, why do you let this happen? No, you're, you're like a I'm rape victim. You're just an awful rape victim. How come they're how come they're targeting me and not you? And now I'm all confuddled. Because I'm a cute guy. This episode sucks. This episode is for the birds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Outside okay. of VGV, Mickey revealed okay. that he is part of a punk band known as Psychic Surgery. He has pride in the band and enjoys route to it he appears to be extremely aller allergic to chamomile tea as shown in ep episode 2 during a Metal Gear Solid sketch as of episode 3 Mickey's chin has been altered into a more round one and has stayed that way <laughs> and uh, that's funny what, what, I think they should mention that it's me I think whoever is writing that should Change it and nope. make sure that it's me, like due to your Tom's assertiveness and manly hood. Then uh, I don't know who wrote this, but I gotta. Got the end. Podcast is over. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>